What is the ETH merge and how should we invest in ETH during the merge? ETH merge is happening in exactly 16 hours and 30 odd minutes at the time of this video. The merge is expected to be completed around 2.20 US Eastern Standard Time. During the merge, ETH goes from proof of work consensus mechanism where ETH miners compete with each other to publish blocks on the ETH blockchain by racing to solve cryptographic puzzles with their mining rigs to proof of stake. That's when validators that have 32 ETH can run nodes and process ETH transactions on the blockchain and allow stakers to stake their stake in the ETH blockchain to earn yields and rewards. The cons of moving from POW to POS is that blockchain network will be slightly less secure. The pros of the upgrade will mean that energy costs will decrease by 99.95% and that there will be no need to use mining rigs to mine ETH. So pre-merge under POW, we have mining rewards that equate to roughly 13,000 ETH per day and staking rewards of 1.6K ETH per day. But after the merge, only the 1.6K ETH per day supply issuance will remain, meaning that post-merge, the daily issuance of ETH will drop by 90%. Post-merge annual ETH supply is around 0.5 million ETH per year and if you take into account EIP1559 annual burn fees is around about 1 million ETH per year so you're left with a deficit of 0.5 million ETH each year. Because Bitcoin's current inflation rate is about 1.7% annually, post-merge ETH deflationary by 0.5%. That is why the post-merge ETH 2.0 is called triple halving Bitcoin because it's three times as deflationary. Currently there are 13 million ETH staked in the beacon chain in ETH 2.0. Hope that helps. Follow and like for more.